Hey there, locker room. We are going to do a buyer brokerage agreement today. So you can log into your MyKW or straight into DotLoop. Um, if you go to MyKW, you're going to go to My Transactions. This will take you to your DotLoop. All right, actually, I need to sign in. So for your buyer brokerage agreement, you're going to, if you don't have an address and you just want to create one for a particular buyer, you can go ahead and name that buyer loop. I'm just going to say Alicia Thomas. Purchase. Pre-offer. You always want to make sure you do your statuses just so you know what's what. It filters better that way. So you're going to add document. You're going to go to templates. And you're going to go to your GAR forms. And look for buyer brokerage. Exclusive buyer brokerage. Import your document. Now down here for the people, you are going to be the buying agent. Keller Williams is going to be the buying broker. And then you can add in your buyer. So let's add in our buyer. So now you have your buyer here. So when you go to your buyer brokerage agreement, it's going to pop up an autofill. So it'll autofill your buyer, autofill me as buyer agent, and then the brokerage, which is Keller Williams. You want to get their name, email, phone number, and address. Make sure you get their address and get their phone number. I'm just making up some stuff here. Okay. So. All right, and then for buying brokerage, you can add in our phone number. And our ID is KWRS03. If it doesn't automatically pop up, it should. So now you're going to autofill your document. So you have your buyer here, you have the broker here. This agreement day is whatever day you're doing it. So the term of this agreement shall begin on, let's say today, and usually I put it a couple months out. Again, this is a, just an agreement, not a contract. So they can terminate at any time. You're an independent contractor. The following types of agencies are not offered. We do not do dual and we do not do sub agencies. Commission. 3% of the sales price. Now for B, it depends on how you feel. If for some reason the seller does not pay the full 3%, this is saying that the buyer shall pay the difference or shall not pay the difference. I put shall not because I'm not looking for them to pay the difference. Separate commission on a lease. Now if you think that your buyer may possibly rent something, you may want to put a fee here, depending on the price range. I don't know. And as follows, I always put zero and NA because I really don't, I'm not going to do a lease. Protection period, I usually do 90 days. So what that means is if you show them a house and they are now outside of your agreement, you have 90 days, and they go back and buy that house without you, well, you are protected for up to 90 days, and you will be owed your commission. Then you're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Most everything is to be filled out on the first page. Scroll down. Here we go. 
following bro brochures and exhibits, you can find all of these are GAR forms, GAR forms, GAR forms, GAR forms, GAR forms. So be safe. Just check them all. Send them all if you want to. Um, it's better to give them more information than not enough. Special stipulations. If you have any stipulations that you want to add with a buyer, um, I really can't think of any special stipulations for a buyer. On listing agreements, you may have some. But if you were to have a stipulation, all stipulations should go, all parties agree, blah, 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 right? Make sure all this information is filled out for your buyer. If it's not filled out, compliance is going to kick it back and want this information. Make sure your information is all filled out. Today's date. There's no fax number, so you're good on that. You can go ahead and sign it. And then you can save and share and send it to your buyer. So on this side, it says can sign. If you hit view only, then they can't sign it and you don't wanna give them access to edit. So just leave it as can sign. If you wanna enter a message here, hello, Nick, please sign, blah, 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 blah. And if you wanna attach a PDF, you can. Then you're gonna hit share, which I won't. Um, and it will go to your buyer and it will come from dot loop. It will not come from your personal email. So tell your buyers to be looking out for an email from dot loop. And then they'll be able to click into the document, start signing, finish the document. Once they finish signing it, it's going to come back here and it'll say signed right here. And then you're all set. So. This is your buyer brokerage agreement. And from here, let's say you get a contract, you can add your contract in here into your loop, and then you can start your compliance. If you have any questions, please call, text, or email me. Hope this was helpful.